Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naja and I make college or lifestyle related content. And as you can tell by the title of this video and this little backdrop, you can see that I am talking about fashion today. So today, I am going to be discussing 20 plus essential wardrobe items that you need and how you can just build your closet using these items, how you can just start from very basic stuff and then grow and grow and grow so you have the style that you want, the look that you want, and the clothes that you want. So if you're interested in seeing this list of items that I've collected for y'all and I'm going to show y'all like where they're from, what they look like, all of that, make sure to keep watching. Also make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you have any questions and click that notification bell to get notified every time I post a new video. Ooh, that was the first time I did that in one go. Hey. Okay, so the first thing that I really want to discuss is basically building your closet. So a couple years ago, maybe like two years ago, I was like maybe sophomore, junior in high school. I was like, I really want to get into fashion. I like, I like fashion, but my style is really basic. And I started like following people on Instagram, seeing just different inspiration. And I'm like, okay, I really want to get my style together, like for real. So I was that girl who always wore Vans, Converse, black, white, really basic stuff. I had started to like build up the clothes that I wear. And I was like, I need to get a variety of clothes and you start using color. So basically I have a bunch of items that are super basic. And I think they're like a good foundational part to all of the outfits that I wear. I'm going to go through each of the items and show y'all like how I would style them what I think about having them in your closet and these are all things that I think everyone should have um, in their closet if you're into fashion just because they're really basic you can dress them down you can dress them up you can be cozy with it casual literally anything you can dress these in any certain way and I just feel like they're good to have as basics in your closet these are all like non unique items like you can find these anywhere so let's just get right into it okay so the first things that I think you should buy especially good for now where we're in quarantine are these oversized sweatshirts so I really love sweatshirts I have gray I have white these are the only two I used to have black I used to have a bunch of colors I used to thrift um for sweatshirts but I think these are really good basics to have you can style it with a baggy look you can style it with a fitted skirt and you can just wear these with sweatpants make it a sweatsuit set and you can just have it to be a really basic like cozy outfit or you can style it in any type of way so those this gray one I got from Walmart it's just Fruit of the Loom and this white one is from Amazon Essentials it's linked to my Amazon account if you guys want to buy it I think it was around $15 and this one was probably like 10 and I got them both in extra large so there'd be oversized on me okay so the next thing I think you guys should have are these black tops so basically any kind of basic black tank top maybe a black halter top crop top Here's one with like a little more intricate design. It has like the open slit right here on top of the chest area. And this is from Shein. It's just a really basic black crop top. It was probably like $6. And this one is also from Shein. It's more of like a v-neck halter top. Very fitted and very cute. And then of course you have to have your two white tops to go with that. So I got a white bodysuit here that I got from Rainbow I'm pretty sure. And this halter top that I don't know where I got. Everybody always asks me. My cousin actually like gave me some clothes. I don't know where she got this from at all. And I think all four of these, like, there are different styles of tank tops you can get. You can get, like, crop tank tops, regular tank tops, like, body suits, halter tops, literally any type of basic white and black top. And also, like, nudish colors, tan or, like, a green, like, a gray. Like, those are all really good basics to have in your closet for when you're looking for stuff that you want to, like, wear. And so, as you can see, most of this stuff is neutral colored because that's what I think of when I think of basics. I think of, like, neutral colors, gray, black, white. And next I think that you should definitely have turtlenecks. I'm gonna leave this right here because my white turtleneck is so dirty But just know that I have a white turtleneck right here that needs to be washed. I have makeup on it But basically I think you should have a range of turtlenecks in your collection. This is a crop turtleneck This is from H&M. It's so cute It's a great crop turtleneck and I feel like this the turtleneck look is like my favorite type of like shirt design shirt style just because I love like when stuff is covering your neck you put your jewelry over it, it just looks really nice I got this from H&M I got this one from rainbow you can buy turtlenecks literally anywhere people always ask me but they're really basic you can probably find them at Walmart during the winter time you can find them anywhere and I just think they're a really cute addition you can put them on under shirts you can put them under sweatshirts you can style it as its own thing you can crop it you can tie it it can be a really cute like addition and it's especially good for the winter time and the fall to layer with other things so you stay warm and next you know you got to have a denim jacket or two or three a black one a denim one a two-tone one literally so many denim jackets but this one is from Shein people always ask me I, I talked about this in my haul um, it's a two-tone denim jacket. This one is like the first denim jacket I ever had. It's from H&M. I also have a lighter one, so you can get like a dark, a light, a ripped, 
black like you can get any of these and it's really basic you always need a good jacket in your closet to throw on with any of your outfits so i feel like a denim jacket is a really good jacket that'll go with everything and i got this in a size us 8 from h&m but this was years ago literally all right moving on still with denim our denim skirt so i just got this one from boohoo really cute black ripped denim skirt and this is from i mean this is a us 6 um i'm gonna do a haul video when my when the rest of my stuff gets here but just to show y'all this i think denim skirts are a really good addition to your closet especially if you like to wear skirts um i'm i'm big on skirts i'm not big on dresses but i do like to wear skirts and denim skirts are super basic and can turn any outfit really cute i got these from rainbow i'm pretty sure and both of them are ripped both of them come to like your middle thigh and you can get long ones you can get mini denim skirts i think those are super cute i just don't wear them you can just put anything with this you can dress it down with sneakers dress it up with sandals heels whatever you want and it's just a really cute look and going off of that you also need a good pair of denim shorts so here are the denim shorts that i like to wear i don't even wear these that often but i feel like denim shorts can be really cute especially if you find like vintage ones high-waisted ones distressed cut off so i got these from forever 21 in a size 29 um these are just ripped they come with four buttons and they're just super cute and I think denim shorts are also just good to pair with anything, especially during the summer. Like, that's a good summer look. You can put them with your sneakers. You can put them with sandals. Literally anything. So, you know, you just got to get stuff that's really versatile that you can pair with anything. You can dress it up any kind of way. You can dress it down. And you just make it your own style. All right. And moving on to actual, like, jeans. So, I showed you guys these already. But I think everyone in their closet depending on what you like of course should have a pair of light loose jeans dark loose jeans light skinny jeans and dark skinny jeans a light pair of loose and skinny and a dark pair of loose and skinny and so i got these from shein y'all already know comes with a slit at the bottom and then these dark ones i got from pretty little thing they're dark blue mom jeans and I'm really getting into like baggier, looser style. I don't really wear skinny jeans anymore, but I think those are also good to have in your closet just to go, just to put on and go do whatever. These you can style up a little bit more and make it look a little more like streetwear or like dress down or casual or whatever. And I think they're really good to have in your closet. All right, and like I said, I'm not gonna take these off the hanger. They're just regular skinny jeans, but I also have a light pair of skinny jeans and a dark pair of skinny jeans. I got these both from Fashion Nova in a size nine slash 10 and these are just really cute you know skinny jeans are just really basic jeans i don't really wear them anymore they feel really restricting when i put them out put them on now especially because i've been used to wearing like baggier stuff cozier stuff for quarantine and so when i put them skinny jeans on my thighs be burning i cannot be in them for that long but it is what it is and lastly i think one pair of jeans that you definitely need are a good pair of ripped jeans loose or skinny or whatever these are kind of loose on me i got these from fashion nova size nine ripped jeans have like a good look i don't even know how to describe it but like if you have like regular jeans you're like okay regular jeans but then if you have a ripped jeans kind of like a little bit of style a little bit of flair you know what i mean and moving on i think everyone should have a pair of gray sweats and a pair of black sweats in their closet and i got mine from walmart of course these are just regular fruit of the loom little sweatpants size small because i think these are men's they're in the men's section so i just get a size small they fit me really well they were like maybe eight dollars and i also got them in gray and these are just really good to have to be cozy you can pair them with your oversized sweaters you can pair them with a crop top you can pair them with literally anything a jean jacket leather jacket and of course i have multiple pairs of gray sweats and multiple pairs of black sweats like different types but those are just the really basic types that you can start with all right and next i think everyone should have a good pair of sweat shorts or biker shorts um so these are sweat shorts these i actually cut so these are from the h&m i think they're from the boys section uh let me see what size they are yeah h&m boys medium so i got these from the boys section and they originally came like this you know long reached down almost to my knees kind of um so i kept the black ones as is but i cut the gray ones because i didn't like how the gray ones looked long and it looks a little dingy at the bottom but i just like pull it like this so it like looks like it's rolled and just looks natural so i just cut these and i think these are really good to have to be casual you can dress these you can dress these as streetwear, you can wear it with a crop top, literally anything. And I keep saying that for everything, but since everything is so like basic and neutral, you can style them any way you want, which is why they're considered wardrobe essentials. So, you know, I'm just going to keep saying that. All right, and next, I think everyone should have a good pair, a good pair, 
a good select few basic hoodies. So this is a cropped hoodie, gray, dark gray that I got from H&M as well. It's a medium and you know, it's just a cropped hoodie. Can't really say much about it. I want more colors in hoodies, like regular size hoodies, like a white, a tan, a black. And I'm just gonna like continue to get those basic things. And that's one thing I will say is that when you're building your closet, you don't have to get everything all at once. Like just think of like three or four things that you want right now. And then like in the future, you can buy more. You can continue to add on to your collection. And that's how you slowly start to build your closet. I think everyone should have a black cardigan and a white cardigan slash like sweater. Um, whatever you want to call it. I got this from Forever 21. It's just a black long sleeve cardigan and it has buttons to go but I just wear it open usually. And then I got this from Amazon. I know it came in a set and this is not even supposed to be worn as a cardigan but I think it can be cute as a cardigan. Um, it has open sleeves right here. It zips up. It has a double zipper but I think a black and a white cardigan are just really good to have to throw on. Maybe you're going out somewhere and you just need a little light jacket just throw that on or you're just in the house and you're cold just throw this on it's not going to be too heavy but it is going to keep you warm okay next i think everyone or at least everyone who wears dresses should have a good white dress and a good black dress so let me show you guys my white dresses first so this is just a mini dress very very short that i got from forever 21 in a size small it says baby girl across the top it's just a really basic white dress that i like to pair under a good jacket with some sneakers and then this is a white long bodycon dress and it just goes down to my ankles fits really cute you can pair this with a good jacket or not since it's gonna be like summertime put it with some sandals some slides and this is just a really good basic to have and then the same thing goes for like a good black dress so this is just a long sleeve off the shoulder black dress that i got from fashion nova in a size medium very cute and very basic it fits my body really well um and fashion nova is good to find like good basic dresses and you can also get like loose black dresses white black dress i mean white black loose white dresses and just basically you don't have to get like all fitted stuff like i do i just like to wear fitted stuff that also goes for skirts too white fitted skirt black fitted skirt white loose skirt black loose skirt like literally any colors basic colors all kinds of colors and the last things that i think are just essential to your closet are graphic tees especially if you're into streetwear or if you're into just looking very casual so these are just a couple of the graphic tees that i like I got this one today from Boohoo. I'm gonna do a haul, of course, but it's from the Boohoo Man collection. Got this off of Depop. Got this off of Shein. Y'all saw it in the last haul. So I just get graphic tees from anywhere. And they're obviously just really good for like dressing down, dressing very casual, just chilling in them, wearing it under your wetsuits, wearing it under your hoodies, all of that. So I think those are just essential to your closet. And that is basically all of the items that I think you guys should have in your closet, especially if you're into fashion, if you're into being comfortable, if you're into looking cute, literally any of that. These are all really good items to have. And if you're just starting to build up your closet, don't worry about getting them all at once. You can get them over time and just figure out like what your style is based on like what kind of things you like. Like, do you like it baggy? Do you like it fitted? Do you like it short? Do you like it long? Do you like it cropped? Do you like it regular? Like what kind of style do you like? And I think that'll be a good idea for how you can start building in your closet and then from there you can go and find inspiration you see she has a black top with whatever she's pairing it with you can be like oh i have that in my closet i can pair it with that and then you can slowly start to get like shoes accessories jackets add color literally everything but these are all just really good basics so i say head to amazon head to walmart ross shein fashion nova pretty little thing depop literally anywhere you guys can find really basic things and I, even this top that i have on this is from shein one shoulder this is what i always emphasize so you see that i have this white top i have this white top i have like seven more white tops but they're all a little different so they all can go with like a different different type of style and it can really just change the looks of your outfit like you can have the exact same like you can have a white top and jeans like six different ways like I have six different white tops six different pairs of jeans and it'll be a different outfit every time even though it's like the same style so that's just what I mean by like build your closet have a variety of clothes like I said in my last styling video but that is basically it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe let me know what other styling videos y'all want to see I can do this for shoes I can do this for accessories like must-haves and just let me know like what other styling videos y'all want to see I am going to do another haul Actually, I'm going to do two more hauls when my boo-boo and Shein stuff get here. They're taking a little while. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on Monday.